got my, my guy Connor get my gate all ready for this pro moto. It's a nice day here in Wortham, Texas. I think that's where we're at, at Freestone. 250A, Division One, first race of the week. Let's go. And they are out of the gate, rounding that 100% first turn. All righty, so we've got the Team Green Kawasaki rider out front. No, you know what? We expect to see Jet at the front of the pack. I am sure that Jet finds himself expected to be at the front of the pack as well. So the 350, it looks like Baker in second. And I believe that's the 43 of Colin Park in third. Kitchen's up to third. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchens, nope. Chandler Baker. He's into second now. He's got around yeah, Baker. Yeah, exactly. Putting Baker back to third. Fourth place is still going to be Colin Park aboard the Honda. Jet Reynolds basically has the entire Texas 12-pack ahead of Kitchens. Yeah, but he's coming. The Yamaha rider has got himself on the horse, so let's see if he can chase him down. Working the lower section here on the 79. Jet Reynolds trying to hold the lead over Levi Kitchen, Chandler Baker, Cullen Park, and Austin Black through the top five. So Kitchen is getting faster. Reynolds stays at 202. Levi Kitchen down to two minutes flat. Incredible. Two laps ago, Don Collings, Levi Kitchens was an entire Texas 12-pack whoop section behind Jet Reynolds, and now he is all over the rear knobbies of Jet Reynolds. And Kitchen has made the pass in the lower section. So Levi Kitchen, the 147 Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha, taking the lead away from Jet Reynolds. start out the week with a fourth. Obviously want to be contending for the win and those guys are riding good so we got five more to show ourselves so we'll be ready. What's up boys? What's going on? We're trying to trying to get under here without getting yelled at. Uh, that's a sneaky line huh? Yeah. Just kind of being a little, yes. little slick. Jack, Jack's not doing it. No, I've already done it. He's, war he's warning us. <laughs> I think we can get away with it right I now. I said go for it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'll film. No he's right behind you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> And it looks like that might be the rider on the 241, the Orange Brigade KTM with Josh Varese with the whole shot. Chance Hymas on the 830, right on the back tire. That looks like another KTM rider slotting himself into third. Hymas is going to go around the outside. And he's going to make the pass. Chance Hymas goes to the outside, approaching that Leonard Skinner Oak Tree turn. Wastes no time. Hymas has the entire Texas 12-pack lead over Chambers and Josh Varees. How about Preston Kilroy, the 80 on the Suzuki out there, the lone yellow back out there getting done with a top five ride going on right now, Don Collings. Look at the battle now. Chambers and Varese going at it for second, and Kilroy is going to join the battle. 
So Jack Chambers, he's going to deal with Josh Varese and Preston Kilroy as we are now lap four in the books. Yeah, holy shit, huh? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm ready for this high miss kitchen battle. You got this battle here. All right, here we go. Battle for second. Here it is through the Shock Socks S turn. Chambers, Varese, and Kilroy, those three riders, all in the same section of track. Miller kind of all alone, just running his race fifth. All right, Kilroy makes the pass on both of those riders. So Preston Kilroy takes away the second spot from Jack Chambers. Chambers now third, Varese still fourth, and Miller rounds out the top five. So Jack Chambers and uh, Josh Varese going to battle away for that third spot now as Kilroy tries to get away to hold second. Hymas way out front. He's going to take that third spot away from Chambers and a little wave as he went by there. Chambers now going to deal with Max Miller on the final lap. Well, there's Chambers and, oh, and it's going to be Chambers holding off Max Miller. Not even a bike length. I lost some pace early in the moto. Just was getting a little sketchy. Started to get my arms tight. I uh, haven't really ridden outdoors since since Millville when I bust my collarbone. So we're uh, we're racing into shape, kind of. Not that I'm not in shape, but the arms here are a little tight. Pretty good. I got a second place star. I just tried to ride smooth. I had a little bit of battle on the first lap, but I tried to take some smooth lines. Got up to the lead and led from first lap to finish. I was making lots of mistakes, just trying to be calm and trying to be smooth. But we'll see in the main. 